Hello and welcome to Linux Int YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the unconditional statements in the C programming language. What is an unconditional statement? Well, unconditional statements alter the normal flow of execution of the C program. In simple words, it allows the C programming language to jump from one statement to another statement. In C programming language, you get the following unconditional jump statements other than the return statement. These are break, continue, and go to. So let's talk about break. Well, break is a keyword which is used to terminate the loop or exit from a particular block. When break statement is executed, the control jumps to the next statement after the loop or the block. The most common use for break statement is within for loop, while loop, do while loop, and switch statements. If break statement is used in nested loops, then only the innermost loop is terminated. So you can see a diagram on your screen right now to explain the syntax of a break statement. Well, it is pretty clear from the syntax that break statement is used to exit a particular block of code. So let's demonstrate the use of break statement in a very simple program. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a for loop and I'm going to print out the iterator variable. So for that, I'm going to create an iterator variable. Then I'm going to write my for loop. And within the for loop, I'm going to print out the iterator variable. But I'm going to set up an if statement that if the iterator variable equals to 3 then I want to exit the loop. So let's try running this program. So as you can see my output is 1, 2 and 3 which means when my value was 3 the break statement exited the control outside of this for loop and since there was no other code I got the output 1, 2, 3 and not 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So that's how you use break statements. Next up we have the continue unconditional statement. Totally opposite to the break statement the continue statement is used to shift the control back to the start of the block of code. You can look at this syntax right now and you'll understand the working of continue code. So we have statement 1, 2 and then we have continue. So every time this continue is executed, the control is taken back to the start of the code, which means the statements 3 and 4 are not executed. So let's try continue in a code example. Very similar to the break unconditional statement, I am going to use the continue statement within a for loop. So again, I'm going to create an iterator variable, create my for loop. But this time around, what I want to do is that if my value is 3, I want to skip it. I do not want to print the value 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write an if statement. And I'm going to say if i is equals to 3, then simply continue. Otherwise, I want to print the value of my iterator variable. So if we run this code, we get the output 1, 2. 3 is skipped, so we get 4 and 5. So that's how you use the continue unconditional statement. So the last unconditional statement that we are going to cover is go to. So unlike continue and break, which either shift the control to the start of a block or outside the block, the go to statement is used to shift the control to a particular statement in the program. We can also say that the go to statement is used to alter the normal sequence of a program execution by transferring the control to some other part of the program. So if you look at the syntax of go to, you can see that we have two options. We can either do a forward jump or we can do a backward jump. So what you do is that you write the keyword go to and then follow it up with a label. And then you write the statement to which you want to shift the control to with the same label that you have put in front of the keyword go to. So let's demonstrate go to with a simple example. So I have a print statement that says hello. And then I'm going to say go to maybe L1. And then we have another printf statement that says how are. Well, I want to say how are you, but I'm splitting it up into different statements. You'll see why. And then I'm going to say the last part, which is you, but I'm going to write the label over here with a colon. And then I'm going to write my line printf. In here, I'm going to write a space and then follow it up with the you. So if it was a normal execution, I would get the output hello and then followed up by how are you. But since I'm using the go to statement, I would get hello and then straight to you. So if I run this code, I get hello followed up by you question mark. So that was all for unconditional statements in the C programming language.